Thank you, Chair Woman. I appreciate that. Uh, good to see everyone. My name is Mark Alford, and I am from the 4th Congressional District of the great state of Missouri, not just Fort Leonard Wood, but also Whiteman Air Force Base, home to the B-2 stealth bomber and soon to be home to the new B-21 uh, bomber. Uh, I tell you what, folks, we are at a critical time in our nation's history right now, uh, and that's what this NDAA is all about. It is taking on the, the threat, the pacing threat from communist China. Uh, with China on the rise, military recruitment is at an all-time low in our nation. Public confidence in our military is weakening, and we face significant challenges that we must overcome. Right now, only 9% of our nation's young people have any interest in joining the military. That's sad. We have got to restore patriotism and confidence in our military. And the woke programs that have been indoctrinated and infiltrated our military has got to go. And the NDAA is going to get rid of a lot of these. We're going to gut a lot of these programs. We're banning teaching critical race theory. Uh, we are banning the drag queen shows on military bases. You've heard about this. Uh, members, uh, through approval from the armed services, have uh, gone on with their drag queen performances and trying to recruit members uh, through a digital ambassador program. Uh, we are making sure that that does not happen anymore. We are defunding our counter extremism working groups. We are eliminating the diversity, the chief diversity officer, and gutting the DEI work force. We're also establishing a Parents' Bill of Rights so that parents can review materials taught in DOD schools. And we're providing a path back for those who left the military because they would not take the mandated COVID vaccine. Uh, we've got to make things right, and I'm most proud that we are giving the military a raise of 5.2 percent. It is long overdue. We've got to restore confidence in our military, and the NDAA is the path forward to do that. Thank you, and I'd like to bring up now our whip, Tom Emmer.